Hi you guys, good morning, afternoon. This is At A Glance with the 66 day challenge that I gave myself uh, 16 days ago. Today we are on the 16th book of the Bible and that is Nehemiah. The author is Nehemiah himself. This was written in 425 to about 400 BC. The time covering of this particular book is between 450 to 430 BC. Claims to Fame is one of one of the few books in the Bible written in first person. It covers the last piece of history recorded in the Old Testament. So we're going to hear a lot about Lazar and things like that, God's rule, the building of the temple. So pretty much the last uh, four books that we cover. Uh, first Chronicles, Second Chronicles, First Kings, Second Kings, Lazar. The uh, the last five books that we just listened to or if you guys read about this book is kind of like a, a closing getting ready for Ruth um, some of the famous stories in this Bible in this book includes Nehemiah gets Israel leaders to stop charging taxes to the returns of to um, I apologize Nehemiah gets Israel's leaders to stop charging tax to the returnees of the great exile meaning those who just got so pretty much what we're going through now, we're going to need a break. We don't need people saying, okay, you were late, you, you owe this, you owe that. There, there has to be a point to look, what well, nobody worked for the last three months, we're not even going to worry about the last three months. Let's worry about today. That's what Nehemiah is doing there. The next famous story is Nehemiah gets tough with the man who has married foreign wives, especially the priest. Now in uh, uh, Leazar, Leazar, what we read was the uh, God's law about marrying outside of the tribes, meaning God didn't want any of the men to uh, marry off their daughters or marry off their sons to any of the foreigns. Now, this is not just race or being black or white, stuff like that. These people were leading God's people away from Christ, and that's not what God wanted. So let's just make sure we all have an understanding. If you don't understand, start at Genesis and keep reading. Uh, famous verses to this is they said to me those who survive the exile and are back in the preference are in great trouble and disgrace the wall of Jericho is broken down and and its gates have been burned with me what have been burned with fire uh, Nehemiah 1 and 3 um, some important parts about this book is many scholars feel like this book is a sequel to uh, Leazar, which I agree with that. The next point is uh, Nehemiah was a layman, was not a priest like Leazar. He wasn't a prophet neither. He served the king of Peru and then led a group of Jews to, Jews to Jerusalem with the task at heart to rebuild the to build the wall, to build the city wall. Then the next point is he helped Israel keep its foot out of several traps, including getting back into the habit of marrying foreign women and worship other gods again. So the claims in Leazar in book 15, we are hearing how someone went behind him and pretty much picked up the mantle and said, hey, the people that you're married are leading you away from the Father. Remember what we just went through. Remember what we're coming out of. Don't turn back to your same ways. Re remove yourself from that. Don't continue to allow yourself to do that. So that's what he's doing. The next part is he helped them rebuild the wall in spite of the great uh, anniversary, which he did. Um, then men were working. Uh, men were working in such okay the men were working and they caused confusion injury uh they caused the people start to mock them uh they were feeble and they wouldn't finish they start to complain so during all of this chaos they were still able to build the wall let's see the wall said to have been completed in chapter six and this is nehemiah the 16th book of the old testament the old testament has 39 books and the new testament has 27 books the last important part about this book is Nehemiah continued to help until the people were up settling, uh, settling in, in Jerusalem. And then in the last chapter, chapter 13, he oversees the law by being reestablished and, and with a very organized temple. So he started to lay down the laws of the temple that he makes. And Nehemiah only has 13 chapters uh, in the book. 
Nehemiah is close to a sequel of Leazar. Uh, this was written um, through first, how do they say it? First party? First person, meaning he wrote the book himself, meaning it was pretty much his words. So he wasn't speaking a third party, he spoke in first person. Um, anything else far as Nehemiah, again, it's only uh, 13 chapters. The author is Nehemiah. Uh, this is the 16th book of the Bible written between four, uh, 425 to 400 BC. And uh, right now, again, the most famous verse in Nehemiah is Nehemiah 1 and 3. This is book 16 of the old testament thank you guys so much for tuning in and my challenge of 66 days of the word of god in each book the next book that we will be covering is book 17 and that is esther um talk to you guys tomorrow bye